Hey guys, it's the Friction here, Tiger Tank 1 2, how many call me? I don't really care. Welcome back to World of Tanks, where we are today taking a real quick look at a potential tank that might be coming to the next bonus battle pass chapter. Now, if you recall, they have announced that they would be releasing a bonus battle pass chapter that you would have access to and where you were able to get a tier 8 premium tank. Now, there are certain premium tanks that are on the list currently, and it may be the K2, it may be the TVP100, which is a Czechoslovakian tier 8 tank destroyer, which I think might probably be the, the vehicle that we'll be seeing, because it has been spotted on the NA and Asian server. And then we have the Object 259A, the WZ113-2, and the TS-54. Now, I think, generally speaking, out of these, probably the TVP-100 is the most interesting, and maybe the TS-54, because it's a double-barrel tank. So let's take a look real fast at what we would be seeing. This is the uh, SHPTK TVP-100, and this is what it will look like. It is a Tier 8 Czechoslovakian tank destroyer. It's a premium one, and it might be an introduction into the up-and-coming Czechoslovakian tank to store line because I think usually whenever they release a premium tank at tier 8 it is one that does have um, yeah basically is the beginning of a new line so what do we have right here some of the stats are a bit outdated so we're gonna take um, a look at the upgraded and the updated stats because some of them are not correct what you can see is that you have a hundred millimeter gun and you have an average penetration of 250 millimeters which is pretty impressive for a hundred millimeter gun 330 millimeters of pen with the premium shells we don't know if it's a apcr or heat and then we have a hundred millimeters of penetration with high explosive shells, which is quite fascinating. You can also see that the DPM or the, the alpha damage is at 420, which is fairly high in comparison to the AP shell damage. Rate of fire is quite decent, as you can see right here. Gun traverse is decent as well. You only have six degrees of gun depression though, which doesn't look too good. The aim time is at 1.82 and it actually has been um, improved. At least dispersion is at least definitely not 0.39. Uh, it's actually a lot better, at least um, according to the new um, characteristics. You can see it has a 1150 HP, just like the Scorpion G, and it has basically no armor. The vehicle does come with nice mobility, 55 kilometers top speed, also decent specific power to weight with 21.88 horsepower per ton, and it doesn't weigh as much, only 32 tons. Um, generally speaking, it looks like a tank that will have decent kind of statistics. As you can see, there are also some changes to the concealment. We're gonna switch over real fast, and here we can actually see that they have made some changes. This is from March 26, 2022 so the reload time has been improved rate of fire has gone up and you can see the dispersion is at now 0.29 at 100 meters the average damage for um, the AP shells obviously has increased and with the high explosive shells you're looking at a whopping 4867 damage that is a lot of damage to be had when you're firing AT only also, you can see camouflage has been improved um, when firing from a stationary position, uh, when driving, and when sitting in a bush. So generally speaking, it looks like the vehicle has been buffed, and I think this is going to be the tank that we will be seeing in the upcoming uh, bonus battle pass chapter, because it's a tank that has been running around on the battlefield, being tested out, on the live server and i think it might just be the one that they will be releasing it looks like we might be getting a new line which would be the czechoslovakian tank destroyers for the year 2022 we haven't heard a lot about the content that is coming in this year and i think generally speaking we are all kind of interested in what the future holds especially right now when wargaming is on the verge of um, having to restructure the entire company um, in some other place than uh, Russia and Belarus. So this was just a little quick update video. 
Um, just some of my thoughts. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. And see you guys on the next video. Until then, have a good one.